The warmth of the sun feels good on our skin, but overexposure to the sun's rays can be dangerous. UV radiation can penetrate our epidermis and damage the DNA in our skin cells. Over time, this can lead to skin cancer. Skin cancers are like icebergs, with the tip of the tumor visible above the skin and the bulk of it underneath. There's no way of predicting the extent of the cancer growth before treatment begins. Sun damage is the most common cause of basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas, both of which are on the rise. Mohs micrographic surgery is usually the most effective treatment for the common areas where these skin cancers appear, the sun-exposed areas of the head and neck. Performed on an outpatient basis, Mohs surgery significantly reduces damage to the surrounding tissue while effectively removing all traces of cancer. First-year fellowship-trained Mohs surgeon marks the tumor with a pen. While there is no need for the patient to undergo general anesthesia, patient comfort is a priority. So before the Mohs surgery procedure begins, the affected area is numbed with a local anesthetic. Then the surgeon excises a saucer-shaped piece of tissue with 1 to 2 millimeter margins around and below the marked borders. Hatch marks are made on the skin to maintain specimen orientation. A bandage is placed over the patient's surgical site and he or she will wait comfortably while the excised tissue is taken to an on-site lab where it's prepared for microscopic evaluation. Many Mohs procedures can be completed in several hours, but some cases will take longer. Your fellowship-trained Mohs surgeon, who has training in skin pathology, carefully examines the tissue under a microscope to see if the cancer has been completely removed. If residual tumor is found, it's marked precisely on the map. A second Mohs layer is excised only in the positive area. This process is repeated until all the margins are free of tumor. Your fellowship-trained Mohs surgeon will explain the most effective means of surgical site closure and post-operative care at the time of your procedure. Small, simple wounds in appropriate areas are allowed to heal naturally by a process known as second intention. Most wounds are closed with a linear repair, a side-to-side -side stitching of the surgical site. To close a circular wound, extra tissue on either side of the circle is trimmed so that the suture line lies flat. Larger or more complicated wounds may require skin grafts or a flap, which closes the surgical site by moving adjacent looser skin to fill in the wound. There will be some scarring once the area is healed, although scars from Mohs surgery are often smaller and less visible than those from other excision procedures. As a member of the American College of Mohs Surgery, your Mohs surgeon has undergone residency training in dermatology prior to a rigorous one to two year fellowship in Mohs micrographic surgery and dermatologic oncology, during which he or she performs more than 500 cases. These cases not only include the pathologic interpretation of both common and unusual tumors, but also performing routine and complex reconstruction. Our primary goal in performing Mohs surgery is to cure your skin cancer and to preserve normal tissue. Compared to other skin cancer treatments, Mohs surgery has a very high success rate, up to 99%. You can trust the hands of a fellowship-trained Mohs surgeon to give you the optimal result.